Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to have a look at how the K2 Plus prints different sorts of filament. We're going to go through TPU, ASA, carbon fiber, or PLA carbon fiber, and ABS. Okay, if you haven't um, already subscribed, I'd much appreciate it if you do, um, and give us a thumbs up at the end if you liked it. Um, if you are after a, to buy um, some filament or a printer, I do have affiliate links down below for Creality and Sunlu, and I do have a a link down below to buy me a coffee if you feel like you might want to do that. Okay guys, let's get into it. Um, what I did is I got um, a bundle of the cheapest I could get um, filaments online. So we got a bamboo PLA carbon fibre that we use. We've got a CC DIY materials TPU. I then got this from, oh, I don't need that. Aurora Rum um, ASA and eSun ABS. Okay, so I just got them off eBay and I just um, hunted for the cheapest ones, see how it went with all the different sorts of filaments. And I printed this little, um, the one I usually test, it's a little to torture toaster. Okay, so this is the TPU. And I haven't done anything to them guys, I used all the default settings on the printer. I just pulled it out of the box and basically ran these on them. Making sure I selected the correct material. They all would have been generic, so generic TPU, generic carbon fiber, generic ASA and generic um, ABS. As far as um, in the slice is concerned. I used Creality Print 5.1.6 I think it is, um, to, to do these with. Um, and like I said, I didn't make any changes. I just printed with the defaults. Okay, let's get you a bit closer. Okay, so with the um, uh, TPU, it pretty much printed um, really good, actually. So if you see, um, it would have printed like this with the bottom out. There's no supports and no um, uh, brim or any or raft or anything used. It's direct to the plate and supports turned off. So it prints like that, it's like flat on the plate. Because uh, it's a TPU, it does make these little cogs because it, the material bends here, yeah? so it bends. And the, um, the cogs fall out because it's not meant to bend. Um, but this is, uh, if you're not sure if it's TPU, how can I show you? Now I'll take one of these off and just bend it. Okay, so this is a, a blue one, I've got a green one as well. Some clear stuff. I just, um, just, like I said, jumped on eBay. Anyway, so if you have a look at the bridging here, I'll oh, put that down. The bridging in here, you can see the top lines are a little bit wonky. Um, but overall, it's done a pretty good job on the bridging, yeah? Okay, so all around here. Cool, and through here. Oh, I did run a flame over these bits here because it had a little bit of stringing in it. I didn't quite have, that's not the quite quite the right settings for it, but it's done a pretty good job considering. But it did have a little bit of stringing, so I just ran a flame over it and it got rid of all the stringing. There's the text on the back, you can see. Okay, now on the, uh, on the, um, tolerance side of things. These pretty much fell out as I was pulling it off the plate because it flexed and they just fell out. And I can't get the last two. I've tried to sort of pull them out just gently. They don't come out. So it went up to 0.02 and 0.01 didn't come out. The rest did. Cool. Okay, so all of TPU, it did really well. Next I went on to carbon fiber. It's a PLA carbon fiber. It's a Bamboo Labs one. Um, yeah, I know I shouldn't be using bamboo labs on a Corelli printer, but still, <laughs> it's what I had around. So you can see the writing, writing came out quite nicely. Um, which ones, which, oh, the cogs work good. Oh, sorry. Probably open it up to just show you. Okay, tolerance test, you can have a look and you can see same thing, the first two are sort of not perfectly perfectly neat and tidy, but they're pretty good, considering that's a straight line across. And all the rest are okay. 
didn't have to do anything to this, they pop up and down fine. Um, oh, I haven't tried to pull these out. Now. Hang on, let's have a look. Five and four have come out. Oh no, it's going to be light. Okay, so the only one that stayed in is number 01 again. And they came out, they came out pretty clean, you can see. Cool. Um, underneath, all the mechanisms are pretty good. So all in all, it came out really well with carbon fibre. Okay, what's this one? ASA. So ASA, I didn't have to do anything to the, the build plate. It pretty much stuck on nicely. I didn't come, didn't come loose it in anywhere, which is what mainly happens with ASA. I had problems getting it to stick on the plate. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you come. Yep. So we open it up. I'll have a look at the the bridging. The, the top is, is not fantastic. The top bridge. But it's not too bad. Cool. Now with the tolerances, um, it sort of fell out. It was a bit brittle. So the whole centre center bit and everything came out when I was trying to push it down. But once again, everything compared the point 0.1 came out. And the point 0.1 I can't really even budge. And the, uh, the toaster thing... Doesn't work too bad. What's happened there? Oh yeah, one of the one of the little levers broke on that, so it's a bit brittle. Um, I'm not sure why, but for the print, the print worked really, really well for ASA, and it well, didn't. Um, it didn't have any problems on the bed adhering to the bed, um, and the cogs worked really well. As you can see, so basically I'm just turning this one and it's turning the, this one at the end there. Okay, last one is ABS. So, ABS, that printed really nicely. That's nice and smooth in there. Um, cogs work good. How's this one printed? Oh, yeah. They're all pretty much the same. The first, the, the very top one's not fantastic, but the rest are okay. So there's the bridging quite nicely. That's nice and loose. Um, let's have a look at the cogs. And the cogs are nice and turn really easily. And the tolerances, now when I pulled them out, the whole lot came out. The tolerance is good at a ABS. It did pull the center, the center pillar, pillar out right near this end. But um, that was just me just flicking it. I just flicked it down and it just cracked because it's, it's not held on very tightly. It's just up the top. You can see I can just bend, <laughs> bend them ones in. It's a tiny little, it's a tiny little join up the top here. It's not very strong. But anyway, so the ABS turned out really nice. I was very surprised by the ABS coming out so nicely. I didn't smell anything when these were printing. So I had them in my, um, my printer room. Uh, which is basically a games room of the house, or a theatre room, I think they call it nowadays. Uh, didn't smell a thing. I had the doors closed, except for the PLA. I had the doors... No, to PLA and TPU, I didn't have the door, the, uh, the lid on. I took the lid off, the door was closed. And for the ABS and ASA, I had the lid on and the door closed. I didn't smell any fumes at all. Okay? So that worked out really well. Um... Now, they, I ran them all through the side spool. I didn't run them through the uh, CFS, mainly because you cannot run TPU, or your standard everyday TPU through the um, CFS. So they all ran on the side spool and ran directly into the print head. Um, it, it takes what, a couple of minutes just to set up the little, if you've got the holder on, on the side, it takes 30 seconds to change the tube over and just run the um, the filament through the tube. Um, apart from that, um, I didn't really have any other, I didn't have any issues at all printing them. They all printed really well. The um, K2 Plus is working amazingly. Um, if you've seen any of my prints and stuff I posted before when I was using my K K1 Max, um, everyone was saying how nice the prints and stuff were. 
um, or the K2 Plus prints better than that. Um, the prints are smoother, especially when I'm using the same filament on, on both printers. Um, I'll pull one roll from, I'll print with, with a roll on one printer, then I'll change the roll over to the other printer and print, and then, then have a look at the two. Um, the K2 Plus is printing better, and it's a lot bigger. Well, I say a lot bigger, it's basically 50 mil on each side of the build plate. So um, I've been really happy with it. Um, no complaints. I've been the lucky one. Um, I, I got it delivered and didn't. And my delivery guy is very gentle with it. I watched him take it off the truck. Had a little trolley, put it on a trolley, put it on the back tailgate, it loaded down to the road and he just wheeled it off and wheeled it to the front door, which I then got the kids to go and get it and bring it inside because I can't lift it <laughs> because my back's stuffed. But um, yeah, no, I had no damage at all. Uh, no damage at all to the carton as well. So some people looks like they've had the carton dragged over the ground and you can see the wear on the bottom of the cartons. Others I've seen where the bottom of the carton's wet. Um, so there you go. Um, that's not Crowley's fault. That's the delivery, delivery people's fault. Um, so if you do have an issue with a K2 coming in and it's been damaged, first thing you want to do is ring the delivery people, especially if the damage to the box. Um, I know for, for a fact that it's come out of the, um, the factory. I've seen the, how they test them and they test them. They are working when they leave the factory. So if something's happened in transit, whether it's on the boat or at the port or the courier, it's going to be a bit hard to, to say where it's happened. Um, but go for your courier company first. If it's an electronic issue, it's going to be a credulity problem. In which case, the best place to go if you do a, in Facebook, if you do a search for Creality Support, it'll take you to their support page. And from the support page, there's a WhatsApp button on there. And you can click on that and talk to someone. Now remember they're on a plus eight Greenwich Mean Time. Um, so it's the China time, basically. It's about, um, if I was to contact someone in, in America, or America's contact China, that'd be take eight hours off your time, and you've got the time that it is in China if you're on the west coast of America. Um, but you are also a day behind. So if it is 8 p.m. in America, it's going to be noon in China. Um, so just might you know be aware of the business hours and stuff that people are working. Um, apart from that. Um, I hope everyone's having a good run with their K2. I'm having a fair, I'm, I'm loving it. So it's well worth the money because I got a, what was mine? It was a 40. Yeah, I got a 40% discount one when they had the pre-sale. Um, and mine rocked up and I've been printing ever since with it. So it's been really good. Okay, guys, I hope that helped with some, um, a look at some of the different filaments that the K2 can print with. Uh, there's heaps more. I just, um, I don't really have the money to go buy and all these expensive um, filaments. I'm going to try and get some more. Just need to save up to get them and I'll do another video. Okay, guys, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate the support. You might like one of these or one of these <laughs> videos um, that I've made in the past, so feel free. <laughs> okay, thanks, guys. Bye.